was a little pumped for today's video. So today I wanted to uh, officially review um, my fishing kayak. Uh, I've owned it for about three months now and I have uh, not a single complaint for it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. If you're in the market for a kayak and you're looking for something that's uh, going to really step your game up, I got something for you. So stay tuned, stick around, and thanks for watching. If you haven't, click that subscribe down below uh, if you want to catch more about my gear um, or just follow some of these crazy fishing adventures that I go on on the regular. All right, let's go to it. Okay, so like I said, uh, for about three months now, I have owned this kayak, Field and Stream Shadow Caster, 12 foot three, it's about 95 pounds. Um, it's an excellent kayak. Um, you can stand up in it. It's a very sturdy, very uh, stable kayak. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and just start breaking it down. We're going to start up front and work our way back. This comes in a multitude of colors. This is the one they had at Dick's when I went to buy one, so this is the color I have. But first thing I like about it, uh, very sturdy handles. You don't have those little uh, cheap cables with the small plastic handle that will break very easily. Um, this GoPro mount that I added, so you won't have one of those unless you're doing the same. But you have watertight storage up front. That, fairly large, and it goes all the way back, which is some foam pads that I use to keep from uh, camera batteries and whatnot sliding back. But, um, let's see all the way back in there. It's pretty dark, but it goes all the way to the back, so you could stick like a camping gear, extra fishing gear, stuff you didn't want to have on top of the kayak, especially if you're doing like a long river trip or something. Super nice. Okay, so good watertight storage up front. You have some water storage here, little bands, hold them in, uh, you know, water bottles, uh, scissors, whatever you want, extra fishing lures. Speaking of which, there's one right there. All right. Uh, then you have your footrests, right? Most normal kayaks get with that footrest. I like these because they are adjustable. You just spin that, you can slide it up, slide it back down, and then just lock it into place. That locks into place. So you have your adjustable kayaks. Uh, this strap, the strap's for assisted standing. So when you're sitting, you can just reach up, grab this strap, and pull yourself up. I don't use it very often. Um, but it is there. Um, and then you have your standing deck. So your seat, we'll just come, we'll come back to the standing deck. So your seat, right? This is a very nice seat. Um, at first I was a little concerned because the padding didn't look very thick. Um, but it is actually very comfortable. It has like a gel kind of material in it. So it's like Dr. Scholl's for your butt while you're fishing. Really like that. But another cool thing about this seat is this seat has three positions. Um, position one, as you can see, is your down low paddling position, right? So if you're really trying to crank some uh, miles behind you while you're paddling, you got somewhere you got to get to, you got to get home because you've been fishing too long, like I have, slap this bad boy down, you can paddle super quick. But my normal positioning, boom, then it comes up. Comes up one level, right? So your casting position, if you're sitting, you're fishing, uh, you want a little bit higher of a level to sit and be able to look down into the water or uh, just have better angles for casting recommended position now position three you have these nice little straps down here just loosen these up there you go boom fold that baby back and now you have a full Casting deck. Now, casting deck. That's about three feet long. Okay. Pretty sturdy. I put some uh, some foam underneath of it. Um, I'm a bit of a heavier set guy. Coming in around 250. So, uh, I didn't want the plastic to get worn through, crack lines, whatnot. So, I just put some foam under there for comfort. And I put it under there for sturdiness. But, great casting deck. And like I said, I'm 250 pounds. I can stand up on this thing. No problem whatsoever. No problem. Um, then, moving on. So you get your normal handles. One on each side. Um, for carrying, moving, stuff like that. It's a pretty heavy kayak. So I don't do very much 
long distance carrying, but as far as getting up off the garage floor, getting it out into the truck, handles come in handy. Um, and then the fishing kayak of it is not complete without you get your two rod holders built in. Uh, they come with leashes. Um, and then your back deck is going to have very sturdy, very reliable um, bands to hold them in, right? Elastic rope. It's all heat shrinked together here in the back. So you have a knot and then the heat shrink it right over top of it. It just gives it like a very sturdy feel. I can stretch these things. I can put a crate back here. Um, it has the larger crate deck. So your normal milk crates that you could pick up behind the food line and stuff. Um, they won't fit in here as snugly as they will some other kayaks. But if you want to get one of those nice upgraded fishing crates uh, that like your local tackle shop or Dick's or Academy or whatever sells, this will fit that. And it is um, already grooved out for it to fit. So sweet. And then you have your last little back deck. Uh, this is where I store most of my camera gear. Um, stuff that I'm not going to use as, as much while fishing. It goes right here in the back. And then, of course, it has another nice handle in the back. And that is the basic top side of this thing. You got your rails. Sorry, I didn't go over there. So this is each rail on each side. If you want to put your... Uh, fish finder or another rod holder or something on there you do have those options now another thing you definitely need to know because I didn't know this when I bought the kayak it wasn't until I took the casting deck off to put the foam in that I realized that this thing requires it has 10 scuppers 10 where you did every kayak I've owned before this has been six at most you got two in the back two under the seat four underneath your casting deck and two up front right so if you want to take this thing out in the ocean and uh, get a little wet and stabilize you can take these scuppers out um, but for me I like to stay dry I do a lot of freshwater fishing so I have 10 scupper plugs in the actual kayak but key note if you're looking at buying this get yourself some scuppers because you gotta plug them up you got paddle bands on each side and uh yeah, that's about it. All right, listen, if you're looking for an affordable kayak that you can stand up in and you're not looking to go like Hobie or Bonafide or Outback or whatever that are, you know, at least 1200 to more dollars, this one is one you should definitely check out. Uh, I think retail, no discounts or anything, you're looking at maybe $800 uh, at Dick's Sporting Goods. You might be able to find them at the field and stream on discount like I did. I got lucky, I caught it on a flash sale. I think it came in around 650. Um, but affordable when you're talking about half the price of other kayaks that you'd be able to stand up in. It's just the, it's the, it's the way to go. It's the way to go, check it out. If you got any questions, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to try and answer them the best that I can. Um, slam that like button if you do like this kayak, if you're interested. If you know a kayak that's like this one, that's also affordable, that's easy to stand up in, comment down below or drop a link or something. Um, I like to check it out and then hopefully if this isn't the kayak for somebody who's watching this video right now, they can uh, they can check out your link and or comment and go and see that because it's all about finding that kayak that works for you, that's affordable, that you'll be able to go and improve yourself at fishing at. So, feel free to share. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Oh my gosh. Oh, good one. Good one. Oh man. Good fish. Good fish. Hell yes. Ooh, I knew we were going to get on them today, boys. Oh, I knew it. All right.
bass in the boat. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. That good sized fish. No, not a bad bass at all. If you have a good day, happy Independence Day, be free. That's what we're all about today.